Well, you know, I, I really hope that uh, the key. Is, oh, you know, mm -hmm. I really hope that the key is that during this conversation that we're having, that is something that would be said or done that would encourage someone else, uh, as well as give them hope and give them motivation. Um, I am Audley Logan Senior. I have four sons and two daughters, and my birthplace is Natchez, Mississippi. And uh, many people look upon that particular place as something to be ashamed of and embarrassed about. And really it's not. It's not about where you're from. It's about identifying where you are and keep your eyes focused on the goal. Because where you are from don't determine what you're gonna be. You ever feel like you needed somebody, anybody, and you ain't had nobody to turn to but God? Shit, that's how I feel right now, for real. It's hard, man. When I call on you, what would you do, what would you do? When I call on you, what would you do? What would you do? When I call on you, what would you do? What would you do? When I call on you, what would you do, nigga? I tried to overlook the things in life I've yet to conquer. Somewhere my plans went wrong amongst the man I made a monster. Didn't want to sell the drugs, didn't want to take that route. But life is a struggle, we hustle, no doubt. I'm trapped in a maze, I gotta get out. What can you do without your car, your house, your wife, your clothes? Can't get a job, but you gotta pay bills and your kids need food with the money snow. I'm not a complainer though, even if what I got ain't much more than the average person that's poor. Why the economy moving so slow? If you got money for drove, listen, you ain't feeling me. Riding around on 23s, better stop like you grilling me. I know the good, the bad, the happy, the sad, the ugly too. I've helped a lot of people. In return, I've received help from few. What would you do when this show turned to live? When I called on hate you, when I made the choices, but my decisions just ain't go as pain. And I called on you when I need a favor. I might need I your help. You. Like I did for you a time or two when you can do the same. What would you do when this show turned to live? When I called on hate you, when I made the choices, but my decisions just ain't go as pain. And I called on you when I need a favor. I might need your help. You. Like I did for you a time or two when you get it. Yeah. When, uh, when the boy Pokey stepped down, man? Wow. Yeah. I was just like 11.50. Oh, today? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's on and popping then. Yeah, it's on and popping. Might not sleep tonight. Yeah. Hey, my boy stepped down, man. It's the early Z, probably about 11.50. When my boy get in the studio, it's a wrap. I'm letting you know. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know in the future. Um, this, this is this is a featured presentation when my boy stepped down. It's a rap back in ten. I said, I ain't know you come today, man. Yeah, you come tonight, man. Something new, something new, something new. Angela, I'ma give you a sneak preview of myself. I rap because I'm damn good. I don't know. I'ma give you a sneak preview of myself. I don't know. <laughs> I'm on the plane making beats, motherfucker fucking with me and shit. Oh man, that's what it is, bro. I'm on the television live, man. You can't be looking bad and shit. I'm gonna rap for my boy Real, man. Everywhere I go, they all show no rest in peace, my nigga. It's about to go down in a major way, man. I got these boys. I don't even want to say nothing, though. I don't even want to say nothing, man. It's about to get bang. Yeah, man, they're fresh, but look out, man. Them niggas be sleeping on them niggas, cause they ain't, you know what I'm saying, got bread and shit. Niggas be sleeping on them. Yeah, niggas be sleeping on niggas from the silk, man. Especially the niggas from that, man. Like, man, niggas see me and think, like, wow. I'm like, nigga, wow. Man, you come to, you just come to my city, yeah. dog. We could be the new No Limit, the new K1. We don't have to leave the silk if we actually just work together, you know what I'm saying? Build that shit up, man. But they gonna take niggas like us, go other places and bring it back. Then it's gonna pop on. That way they wouldn't have to leave their city. They can stay in that and shit. But right now, shit, they gotta get it. This shit hyped up, you know what I'm saying? We got this shit Dude ready. Dude on the airplane was talking about that. I was on the thing making the beats and he was like, what you, what you, what you doing? What you doing? I'm like, I'm coming to this uh, hip hop hunt out here. He's like, okay, he's like, yeah, I heard that on the radio out here. He yeah, it's on the radio. Yeah, like, they had it on the radio. radio. Yeah. yeah. They can feed me them drink. They gave me, they gave me free drink. Yeah. Oh, I'm not yeah, right, right. I'm, I'm nice right now. Yeah, hey, yeah. I mean, I so said that for a while. Maybe by now I ain't getting no sleep tonight. 
We ain't even get no sleep, man. Uh, man, you know I don't sleep already. Day one. Okay, the whole crew as a collective. Going one winner. Looking for a meal, baby. Right. Be home. All the time. Did y'all get stage yesterday? Nah, we hit the stage today. Yeah, it's gonna be critical. How long to the collective have you been together? Just gave me the mic. I don't know if he said who I was or not. Hey, my name is Bink. I'm the music director for 97.9. Uh, I appreciate y'all having me out here, South Dino. You know, we did it last year. You know, I come out and support every year. Hey, but um, like somebody gonna win five thousand dollars, right? That's how it works. Somebody gonna win five grand. That's cool. Cause if I was winning five grand, I'd make sure my whole block was here. You know what I'm saying? And that's, a, that's how I started. I mean, people be like, come up to me, see me in the street, you know, man, why y'all don't play Dallas music, man? Summer 97, now y'all always playing that T.I. and Lil Flip. Well, T.I. and Lil Flip pretty hot right now, you know, and my job as the music director is to play what's hot. A lot of people come to me on music day, which is every Tuesday, by the way. If you got some hot stuff, bring it on Tuesday between 2.30 and 3.30 at the Valley View Mall. But a lot of people bring stuff, but they don't be coming right. And it made me mad because they don't be, I mean, they be from the crib, they be from down to Fort Worth, but they be bringing me stuff and it don't be right. Like number one, they bring me a CD and they wrote the name on whatever it is on there. You know what I'm saying? When you come to the station, you gotta be professional. You know, I ain't trying to preach, but I'm telling y'all what work, cause I ain't, I ain't never made no hit record, but I play hit records every day. And I know that presentation is everything. I ain't trying to preach, man. I came out to support, man, the 5K Hip Hop Month. Like I said, I was out here last year. They showed me love. They showed me love this year, man. And I'm a real cat, man. You wanna know some more about this music stuff? Just holler at me, dog. Big up party, 93.7. I wanted to be something, because that's another reason why I came out here. But is we ready? We ready for the first group? Yeah, no fun. I ain't got. I gotta kill a team, homie. Been ill near work. I ain't trying to got my brick. It's like I write and spit work. I'm a hustle on the street. Down in Texas, I'm a G. Well connected out in Cali, Mississippi's where I sleep. You can find me in the Jeep where they known to make it jump. I ain't thinking about a black. I'm going platinum out the trunk. I gotta kill a team, homie. Been ill near work. I ain't thinking about a black. I'm going platinum out the trunk. If you want it, I can get it too. You need a hook with it too. I got a beat. I keep some heat. Yeah, you know what it is, man. Like, good take, man. Could have been better, but hey, you know, every day is another experience, man. Still out here grinding, going with winning Mississippi. That's what's up. I mean, no, no, they did get that right there. Gotta get Young Jack, man. Next time, you gonna hit that mic, man. Young Jack. Yeah, man. I have to get that mic. Ball to win, man. Can I get a hell yeah? Yeah, we did our thing, you know what I'm saying? A couple of mics wasn't working, but that's all good, though. We know we still grind, we still gonna keep it real with y'all 100. We born one for life, we never lose, you heard? Think about it, the name says it all. From day one, man, when you first see it with the name, I don't be all like, man, you just go born one. So, so you shot that to me, As Big Z, I'm like, man, Z, born one, though. Man. So when you shot it to me, dog. Went right on and on. I say, Zig, I got that bitch. I called you. I say, Zig, I got that bitch on the arm. Like, yeah, you, you, one, one. It's going to the grave with me. One, one, man. It's real, man. Street case. Street niggas, man. Get right or get left, baby. I mean, we, we got it right down here in Texas. Get right or get left. We got a lot of cats getting down there in, in Georgia with it. Still got cats in, in California with it. I mean, like I said, they kill the team. We a network. Yeah, kill the team. We got cats in every state you go to. Not only can we go somewhere, lay our head. We don't have to go get a hotel room. We know niggas everywhere, man. Like, we can just chill with our own boy, kick it. Every state we go to, we ain't got to rent a car, we ain't got to do none of that. We should be mob stars, tipping with rock stars. Mm. Born with them. And all said and done, man, yeah. motherfuckers just out here trying to take care of their own, man. Trying take to feed our family. Man. Trying to look out for our people, man. You know what I'm saying? We finish in the studio, we finish drop a track, we finish doing what we doing, we finish road shows and shit. We lay down at night, that's what's on our mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was where we came from. I always been up in the top. That's man. ENTZ 601, man, to be exact. Mm -hmm. Exactly what it is. Everybody's not gonna like what you're doing. Everybody's not gonna support you. But you know, you take those very things that people are gonna say to you, you don't let it rest in your spirit and become negative, 
and it become like a poison to you. You don't do that. That will hold you back. That will hinder you. That will cause you to stop. Whatever burns in your heart and it flows for you, then you have to go with that. And you go out and, and let the world know that just because I'm from a city that is viewed negative, that doesn't mean that it put restriction on my life. A lot of people that gave up hope on us, man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be talking about, why well, shoot a video, documentary, you know what I'm saying? Natural, what we got? Shit, that's the shit what we don't have, you know what I'm saying? So that's my whole idea of doing this here. Don't get me wrong, I ain't doing this here trying to make it hard because I ain't that ain't my that ain't my image. I'm just trying to represent where I'm from and try to get back to my community the way, you know, the way I can, you know what I'm saying? By exposing what goes on down here and everything like that, local artists, trying to put them on, you know, whatever, whatever we, you know, whatever it takes for us to do. him guide you, lead you and guide you. You know, he, he, he speaks to you, he tells you. When you, if you step out of line, he'll let you know. And if there's something he wants you to do, he'll, he'll also let you know. If he on the right track and doing the right thing, the Lord will be with him. And he will lead him and guide him. But you're gonna have to obey him when he be talking to you, you have to obey him if you want him to do this for you. Because he's a good God. And he loves us all. I know I went through some rough times, but he was right there for me. There are so many people at our foundation in the Mississippi area uh, have some real strong roots from a spiritual standpoint, real strong from a talented standpoint, and sometimes places like Natchez and many other southern cities is overlooked. Yeah, man, welcome to Sibley, Mississippi, man. This is where I'm from right here. I pretty much grew up in this house right here. You know what I'm saying? This was my next door neighbor, Miss Emma, right here. You know what I'm saying? This is where we from, man. This is where my grandma raised at right here. Right down here in the dirty south, it's dirty as it get. You know what I'm saying? Right down here, man. Real peaceful and quiet. You want to just get away, just get to yourself. Nice place to come, man, out in the country. That's where we grew up at. Like my grandma, she stayed <clears throat> right down the street, right down here. All the kids, them summertime, come out here, get together, go around grandma's house. She made freeze cup, tea cakes, and stuff like that. So it was great, man. I love it. Wouldn't trade it for the world, man. This is, my, this is where I grew up, in the country. This is what I know about. Then later on in life, I got exposed to other things. But this this is where the heart is right here. Y'all grow, you know, had a lot of fun out here. It was fun growing up, you know. What was your typical day? Typical day down here, man, as a kid, man, we used to run up down these streets, man, play handball across the street. You know what I'm saying? We had, everybody had their own basketball courts, had dirt fights, throw rocks. You know, we did all that down here, man, fishing. Hunting. All this here, we used to come out here and do basketball all over here and stuff like that. It wasn't no concrete, straight dirt, you know what I'm saying? You come out here, don't wear your good clothes because your, your socks, you come out here, your socks white, but when you leave, it's brown from all the dirt and stuff. And, you know, like got horses over here. I ain't never really just rode no horse, but I just like to see them. This yard right here, man, this is where we used to play a lot at. You know what I'm saying? We used to have a lot of football games right here. Me, Bolock, and Quill. First cousin, we used to have a lot of stuff right here. First base, second base, baseball, diamond, football, field, dodgeball, all this right here, man. You know, you right down here in Sibley, man. It's like the last neighborhood in Adams County. If you go a little bit further than this, down, down 61 South, you done went to Wilkinson County. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take you all around this neighborhood down here. 
and just show y'all how we kick it down here, man. For real. Some wild, he got some wild hogs and kids shoot them too. You know what wild hogs is? Yeah, you know, they were like, we went to this place. Yeah, he got two over there. Um, <laughs> What's up, Chris? Wasn't no ordinary type living. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had the best of things. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't walk outside and see no big ass skyscraper. You know, big ass freeways and shit like that. Most of the time we step out, we either looking at some trees or some rocky roads. You know what I'm saying? We learn to live. We come up rough. We learn to live off the land and we learn to hustle at an early age. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily talking about selling nothing illegal and shit like that, but hustle, man. Getting out there hunting deals, killing deals, and shit like that. Picking up puck on, saving cans, you know, killing coons. People buy coons, people buy deals and shit. You know, that's real shit, though. You know, raised in the city, man. Raised in the country, man. I learned. You know how to raise hogs, you know, and ride horses and shit, fix fences. And, you know, my people had cows, horses, and cattle and shit. You know, we had to take care of shit like that. I was raised up like that. Yeah, say, man, yeah, man, you down here in Sibley right now, man. This is my hood right here. This is what go down here. Right here on this motherfucking hill, baby. You know what I'm saying? All these G's right here. My nigga Smurf, my nigga Smoke Dog, my nigga E, my nigga Trey. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's what we be doing, man. Shit, we be kicking down here, yeah, man. Killing wild hogs and goats and shit. Deals and shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. Looking for a bold guy move, man. What's up, man? What you got, man? Uh, goat. Who finna clean the hog in a minute? Oh, I just saw them two hogs on the fuck, man. I'm waiting on them. Yeah, you been up there fucking with old Yada and them, man. Yeah. Yeah. Putting, putting natural on the map, man. Yeah, man, we trying to do something positive for the hometown, man. <laughs> hey, we'll be back down here about another, um... Hey, we gonna cook, we gonna cook on down the rocks out of the month. Oh, for real? Yeah, time you cross the bridge. Yeah. Come around there when you go in that curve. Uh-huh. Right there. We gonna be cooking all over there all day. Yeah. It's time about 7 o'clock in the night. See, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. A lot of people don't know nothing about good eating, man. This is where you get your good eating. You see, we got goat over here. I don't ain't no telling what you just saw the wild hog. I ain't no telling what you might find, man. It's just people just eating good now. I'm just letting you know that now. Dirty south, man. The dirty south. That's what I'm talking about. See, I want to get out of that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dirty, this way is that, man. These just forms, man. That's what you're going to get down here, baby. Yeah, I'm getting y'all assets granted, man. Backstage pass to all this. SS ran it, baby. Yeah. Well, you know, it was a great experience. You know, I grew up with a lot of good people. Family was like the most important thing, you know, with my childhood. You know, it was nice, man. I wouldn't take nothing for my childhood down here. Well. Yeah. You feel like you got a lot of good experiences that put you to where you want to be today because of what you learned? Yeah, it's a lot of good experiences. You know, it's like a foundation. You know, once you grow up from down here and being raised by people like this, you know, they just give you that solid foundation, you know, for what you need in life. So once you get to that, you know, certain point in life, you ain't got nothing to worry about because you got that solid foundation that was built you up. And then we all, I was raised up in the country. He was raised, we always, I mean, we was raised from a baby. I was grow. I grew up in the country, and as you know, way back in them days, it was kind of tough. We had to be working in the field and had long ways to walk to school. I mean, miles and miles to walk to school, but it was it was joyful. It I mean, it was a beautiful life. I love it. Even it was, times was hard, but it was enjoyable. Our parents at that time had limited education, had limited resources, and so therefore they was able to do uh, limited things for us. Uh, but what they did give us was uh, a lot of love, a lot of encouragement, and, and they constantly instilled in us that you can do Anything you want to do, if you put your mind to it, your heart in it, and you keep God first in your life, there's no limitation on you. Hey, it look good on you, Bola. 
Huh? It look good on you, man. It look like you need to let him put you in one of them or something. Man. Come on down there and let him let me see. He said you something. Okay, we good up to the back. Hey, I'm Brian. I'm Alma. I'm William's aunt. Okay, okay. Play. I'm Alma. I'm William's aunt. Okay. You too. Yeah, we just trying to get some footage, trying to do a little thing. Okay, yeah. Nice what? How you, Flora oh, Terrell? Yeah. So you all doing the the video, huh? Yeah. So that was, you know, a lot of opportunity to do it. So I say, might well come home and film what I know. To Why they talk? Oh, no, go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much where you come from. You know, about growing up, you know, did you grow up around here? I was born and raised in Natchez. I spent my whole life in Natchez except, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Spent my whole life in Natchez except the two years I was in the military during the Vietnam War. So after 16 months overseas, I came back to Natchez. And uh, I've been here ever since. You know, I've done some traveling within the United States, but I've been here ever since. You know, because uh, this is my home and I, and I came back. You know, and I'm still here, and uh, I I haven't found a lot a lot wrong with with Natchez. Uh, Natchez is what it is. You know, uh, it's it's uh, it's a union town. It's a town that had a lot of a lot of large plants, and as time went on, those plants got old. Those plants got uh, 50 55 years old. So uh, the company decided to cut their laws. And, uh, and unfortunately, we didn't have an economic development uh, authority in place to continue to uh, relocate plants here and to relocate businesses here. So therefore, we had an economic low now because uh, uh, they didn't continue to bring in small industry to prepare for the day when these large plants would leave. And so now we are almost starting to, to rebuild, to rebuild Natchez. And uh, and so therefore, a lot of people are angry. A lot of people are frustrated. But you but you blame it on both the business leaders and the politicians. It took away all the plants. It took away all the big businesses out of this town, and just something dry. Everybody had to leave. People been on job for 30, 40 years, just gone, uh, up and out, just <laughs> cut, dead, dead to the bone, dead. You know what I'm saying? Job over. We're closing down the plant. They closed down Manville over here. It was a big trucking company. They closed down IP. It was a major, major, uh, major production in this in this town. They closed down a, a Titan plant. They uh, closed down pretty half of the fort down, the port down here. On the bridge, I mean, it's nothing. Our main attraction is at the Bellum Home the plantation where people were slaves and all that. That's the main attraction. That's that what keeps Natchez going, tools. So they're trying to keep it like. It was back in the gap, you know. Yeah. But that ain't that's that's not it's not, it's not hitting on shit with us, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Uh, Natchez has been a town with uh, with tunnel vision. Uh, the tunnel vision is that uh, um, uh, a large majority of the white population believe that they could, that the town could survive on tourism. You know, now, tourism is good for a second or third industry. But tourism can't support an entire population. Plantation, man. That home right there. What was this? That was like a plantation. That's the house right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's big tourist thing right here, man. I'm try to see if we can see, like, see if we got a big park up here or something. Man. Nas, Nas, Nas came down here, man. A long while back, man, they wanted to get him. His old lady came down here. They wanted to get married over here, man. Because, like I say, it's real, real historical, man. A lot of people ain't even witnessed this in their lifetime, man. They only hear about it, man. They don't, they don't be exposed to this type of stuff, man. I'm glad they're exposed to everybody, man. It's some, it's good for everybody to see. Part of history. Just imagine, this is it. This is it, baby. What you see now, the bridge, the river, old houses. I love Natchez. We're glad I was born here. I ain't gonna say no way. In a way, educational-wise and other things, get jobs, that it ain't too many 
that type of stuff down here. But living down here is because it's a retirement city. If you old, it's good for old people. Nice though. I ain't never saw this before, man. It's all this, all this new to me, man. Just look at it, bro. It ain't so bad if you really just look at it. All my life, though, I ain't never just come over here and look at this, man. You was thinking about other stuff. Huh? Yeah. You know, growing up in the hood, you ain't think about this growing up, man. I don't want to be by this. But now you're old and stuff, you get a chance to come back and really, how you left home, come back to see it. How beautiful it is, though, man. A lot of stuff, man. I get just history. Now they realize that tourism is not what they thought it was, but it's a good second or third industry. Uh, it, it's, an, it's enough to bring the peoples in. It's enough to uh, bring in a lot of uh, events for weekends or for a week-long event, but it's not, it's not the kind of event that can support a family continuously. So therefore now we are scrambling now. We are competing with California, we are competing with New York, you know, uh, trying to uh, uh, lure industry in. And that is at a disadvantage simply because of our location. It's still people don't want to see Natchez grow. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep the antebellum home because that's what that what they make their money out for. Yeah. Well, you still got the, you know what I'm saying, the other people in there like, um, we need to do more than this here because we starving. I'm hungry, I need to eat, I got a family, you know what I'm saying? My family can't eat all, all what you make off in the bedroom home because I'm not getting no money in my pocket. So the kids growing up to see this, so they gonna say, well, shit, you know? Fuck it, I'm, I'm going out there to make the money. Mama can't bring me money. Dad, I can't have that up with money, he ain't got yeah. it. So shit, what left for me to do but go out there? It's just like a, a, a lion in the jungle, you know what I'm saying? We look at the giant, the lion, you wild. He gonna do whatever he can do to get, you know, to eat. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah. Yeah. right. It's just a survival thing. See, all this, man, is the project right here, baby. This is why I know and love right there. River Oaks, R.O.P., River Oak Project. You know what I'm saying? Like all this over here, man. This is where I used to play when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff in the chain now, man. It's like kids growing up so fast and stuff like that. They don't even have time for this no more. That's the basketball goal over there. That used to be our basketball court. No longer there. Uprooted. The people who own the apartment complex, they didn't took all that away from the kids. You know what I'm saying? No, so if you took all that away, talent, sports, all that, what they gonna leave us to do? Hustle, do whatever we need to do for the making, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how we have to do it now. There ain't no other way. You know what I'm saying? But you don't, but you don't give me, I'm gonna take it. You know, like niggas raised up down there, man, don't even really know what a resume is, man, and interviews and shit like that. I never know that, you know what I'm saying? When I was raised up, I didn't even never know what that shit was about, you know what I'm saying? I knew what jobs were, but the jobs I was looking into and shit like that was, the only thing I know was McDonald's or Piggly Wiggly, you know what I'm saying? Maybe get some tips or something, how I'm not gross for somebody, but I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Look at life as, man, I got to get a job when I got out because we ain't have opportunities like that. You know what I'm saying? For us, man, growing up for us, man, we ain't had no lawyers and doctors and shit like that. Next door, people like that business, man, we look up to and shit like that, man. People we looked up to, man, was dope dealers. You know, and niggas that was out there getting money. You know what I'm saying? So quite naturally, you know, while growing up, that's, that's the shit we want to do. You know what I'm saying? And it just, you know, that's just real like that, man. That's just real life. You know, and everywhere is the same old story, man. Growing up poor and poor community, you end up adapting to your surroundings. Nigga, take my money right quick, man. Quick. See the old three, man. See, there you go, man. Damn, my shit gone. See, that quick shit get lost in the hood, man. I'm gone. Fuck y'all. <laughs> All right, boy. Yeah, man, my little niggas, man. They real, baby. That's my, that's that's the future of revolts, you know what I'm saying? It's real. No outlet, baby. Once you come in, there's no outlet, baby. Ain't no way out. You know, a lot of people go out there and get in the dope game, and, you know, you get popped or whatever. You know, you in that system then. So, you know, when you get out and try to get a job or whatever, you a convicted fella. And then you ain't got nothing else to do. And then you in a situation where 
you a convicted felon, they try to throw you some crumb, a crummy job. You know what I'm saying? And wish I ain't gonna give you enough money to make it out or whatever. And you end up doing the same thing. That's why a lot of our people now here locked up. You know? It's a trap. We'll yeah. see all our black boys locked down. Yeah. 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 That's why they That's need to get out of here. Yeah. Once they turn 18, once they graduate high school, get out of here. Go to school somewhere else. That's our, that's our future right there, baby. That's our future. That's why we're doing this, to see them boys grow. It's a sad situation around here. This is my hometown, and I love living here, but I might have to leave it. Ain't hard no job. Ain't hard no jobs. Ain't no jobs. <laughs> No jobs that can, can that they can earn a all, all you living. Got, all you're gonna do is go on an eight to five job. Most of them paying minimum wage. Work at Walmart. And that's all right. I work at Walmart. Yeah, most of them paying minimum, minimum wage, wage. And, and young people. Nobody can make it all. They got to start at the bottom and go to the top. Try to make it to the top if you want. Yeah, it's hard. Here you might start at the bottom and never make it to the but top. But I'm, 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 I'm yeah, have people retiring from dollar stores. You're only gonna get as far as they want you to go. For real, man, I ain't gonna play for you, man. I mean, living situation, living conditions down here, man, it just ain't, it ain't happening for a young black man. You know, and that's on the real. You know, it's straight out of the horse's mouth. When you're black and born in Natchez, Mississippi, you gonna have a rough time. Have a job working every See, day. Been it's just too that. hard to make been ends that done meet. That. Really? You lose track of the dream, as they say. Well, I don't know what's going on, man. But like I say, a lot of people don't take heed to what's going on, so they don't even try to make no change, though. So if you see what's going on is wrong, and you want to try to make it positive, you know, just go out there and do it. Sign a petition, whatever you need to do, go out there and do it. Cause you know, clothes mouth don't get fed. So I know sitting sitting around complaining about it, make somehow make a difference. You know what I'm saying? This your community as well as mine. This is not just Natchez we represent, we represent any place in the United States that going through anything. So you remember that. Always try to do whatever you can do, try to make a change in your community. That's what we doing, you know.
Where I'm from, niggas don't play no game with a bitch. We keep our eyes on our shit and don't fuck around with a snitch. Cause where I'm from, every neighborhood is real. Fuck around, can run in your mouth, you might not see New Year. Smoke weed and drink beers, what we do down here. Raised up with no fears, how we live down here. We in the club, I only hear every night down here. We selling drugs just to live, that's the life down here. We live it wrong, cause the system just ain't right down here. They let you live, lock you up, and get your life down here. So get it right, I pay the price down here. That's just the life we live. Ain't nothing nice down here. We gotta fight to live. So that's my whole reason for leaving Natchez. You know what I'm saying? Go out in Texas, wherever I need to go, and then come back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? About. Once you leave, you selling out to the hood, you know what I'm saying? You just trying to make it better so you can bring that back to the hood. Sometimes you got to leave your comfort zone in order to be blessed. Some people view success as financial. Uh, there is some financial success. There is many types of success. I view it as wealth is from a financial standpoint. Success in my eyes is when that you can grow beyond where you are and be able to uh, encourage and enlighten other people and help them grow. And when you take your, your mind off of you, yourself, and focus on your situation, your circumstance, and start to look at other people's needs and then be able to encourage them and help them out of, your, out of their dilemma, and then you'll find out that um, your situation is uh, being worked out, your situation, your problem is being solved. We can be successful in Natchez. We can be successful in any city that you choose to live in, but I think Beyond that, you have to uh, go back to something I said earlier. Go back to your foundation and the type of character that is that you are and that you were brought up to be and make sure that you go beyond yourself, your needs, your desire, and, and, and reach out to others. Straight up, Mississippi for life. I'm telling you, Nash is that in. Hey, you fit to do this shit, bro. Yeah, I'm telling let them boys in Texas hit this shit. The Lone Star State, nigga. We buy that boot in Mississippi for life. Mm -hmm. Teflon hard head, you heard me? Real votes. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, messing with nobody, nothing but the real people, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. I'm glad y'all Hey, we finna hit the right? club tonight. I swear, oh, man. Yeah, y'all know what I be on. <laughs> Mississippi, y'all know what I be on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I be on. Shit, we ain't balling yet, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we trying to get there. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. well, we going to put it down, you know what I'm saying? He's had some goofy. Oh, yeah. boom. Think about it. Who was your person that put you under their wing? Who gave you hope? Who gave you your start? So why can't you reach back and do the same for someone else? All right, boy, you want to get some shout outs? No. You don't? No, Temple of Hardhead. Can I get one at least? Something? Sure. Yeah, Temple of Hardhead. Man, man, we've been in the group for about six years, I'll say. Yeah. About six years. Talent but, show, that's what it started for. But we've been rapping and doing this music thing probably all our life, man. I've been doing it since seventh grade. He's been doing it probably about six, you know. Everybody just young and thugging and doing it, you heard me? Yeah, yeah, so we've been putting it down for a minute, man. We want every, I want everybody to know, everybody to know down here anyway. We want every fucking talent show down here, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Every one of them hoes, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Lord, and I choke them boys, they get around bunches, different styles, and some of the functions. How could you say that we wouldn't pick up? How could you make these false assumptions? We're taking this game by storm, we twist these bitches like Ferris wheels. Okay. It's hard to get groups and powerful people down here to see everything we got. You know, we got some talented people down here, but it's just, we don't have people to come down here to just, you know, see. See about us. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. I told right, you. This uh, right. Natchez Finest right here. This <laughs> Dave, the number one engineer in the universe. This is Killer Cole. This is Lil Walter. Hey, what's up, man? Killer Cole. Man, what's happening? Killer Cole in the studio. Hey. 
Q. Kill call. Mick money. You. We already got a chip on our shoulder, dog. You feel me? Ain't nobody really trying to pull us up and help us, so we got to help each other. So the thing is, I feel like, you know, I lay mine down. I tell a nigga, man, if you try to make something happen and you see it about it, dog, reach out to me and I'll let me. That's how the movement got started. Now, you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, you got Teflon, you feel me? You got Hustle World, you feel me? You got, you know, all kind of artists, man, coming up out of there. And, uh, Together, man, we're gonna be able to put this thing together, man, and bring that bread back to the sip, man. You know, hopefully, put some money back in the community, man, and make it like it really should be. Because, like, man, ain't nobody trying to help our people, dog. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, God bless her with a way to take, do something like that to be able to help people. So, that was the movement there, and the movement strong, cuz. They finna see it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Mississippi got something to say, you know what I'm saying? Just as well as cats on the East Coast, West Coast. Or wherever you feel me, you can't sit there and let, you know, Atlanta speak for the whole South, or Houston speak for the whole South, or Florida speak for the whole South. Man, the South big, dog. You feel me? And it's Mississippi that to speak for Mississippi. You feel me? And that's what we do it, man. You know, all day, every day. Let me listen to that one line again. Sorry. Next Mississippi nigga, we down south. Let's try that again. Yeah. Yeah. David kicks ass. You gotta make sure that um. People can actually hear Natchez. Yeah, they gotta hear Natchez. Yeah, right, right. I got my G face on my mouth. I'm screen open my door. Captain visit Pete in the yard, stand in the house. A few cars in the block, and a few cars in the yard, and a crank right now. Two of them bitches is better for the mission, and one of them bitches need more than mouth. Oh, can't they do nothing but smoke and count? Dragon bottles at the soul, body look out. Hot love the rain, we about to get out. Now we gon' show you motherfucker what I feel about. Tell them not choke, no pressure about. Pull us in the pipeline, we gon' flush this out. And all you major ass niggas need to hush your mouth to be the Roy Jones. You got to be knocked out. Places like Baton Rouge, Atlanta. Them people stick together, you know what I'm saying? Sure, Every rap group down here, they beefing, they got something to say. Or they hate you. They stick they together, hate. nigga. Make but, this shit right. You know what I'm saying? We all could just stick oh, together yeah. like everybody else. You know, we'll be a powerful, we'll be a powerful yeah. force to be, you know, yeah. fucking with. And you don't Trying to elevate the different heights, cause I, I just want somebody from here to make it. It ain't gotta be me or anybody I know, but just if somebody make it, somebody can turn around and help somebody else, you know. Right. And I, I, I wouldn't mind being the person to give the helping hand, but I know if somebody else get the opportunity, they gonna help me. So. And while we bring positive people in right and show them, okay, yeah, this person made it, you know what I'm saying? We can follow in their footsteps or even go another route with it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want to spoil everybody, the studio, show how people start, you know what I'm saying? How they grind it, trying to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, that's why we just trying to speak positive on it, man. We don't want to be no nigga on no other click, this click better than this click. When we better than them, nah. We want to call it on it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the same situation, you yeah, know. Ain't yeah, nobody got nothing. Right yeah, right, yeah. right. Raw right. talent, man. So we're going to, you know, try to expose all of that, man. It's all good. So your family cool? What you doing, man? They supporting and everything? Oh, well, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the family, you know, it's, it's ups and downs, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, I, right. You know. I don't know. I, mean, See, that's I just I just pretty much do it for the love of what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, maybe one day I fall into a real career. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a career. But, but hopefully this can be the real career. Yeah. You know? That's right. why it can touch everybody. Right. If you when you when you see it listen. as an experience, exactly. you gotta yeah. listen to. It. But now the only thing about me is sometimes I do not understand. Right. <laughs> it's right. so fast. Yeah. Some it's of it. Man. I don't know what yeah. they're saying. But now that that, that I can style, hear. It's all about delivery. Right, right. Delivery yeah. is where well, I can, can get it. Uh -huh. You can hear him exactly. to hear, uh, you know, exactly. gospel people. If you can hear it, you hear a message. Uh -huh. you know and to me, you got to hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You notice know, now that they're going into the clubs and they're doing like the, the poem, right. and it's kind of, and it's, right. it's, it's, the, same, it's right. the same right. thing. And it, if they just get a little faster with it, I say it's just like rap. Yeah. Right. You know, but it's I love to hear them right. in the nightclub right. doing the poem. Right. Because it's the yeah. same, it's the it's same, same thing. thing. Right. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. Self-expression, that's all it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Expression yeah. itself. Teague and his thing, man, you know what I'm saying? Representing the NTZ, you know what I'm saying? I got a uh mixtape out entitled Break Yourself, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, the cover is fresh. As you can see, I did the cover, you know what I'm saying? I'm a graphic design major at Jackson State University. 3.7 GPA, but you know, that's that's yesterday. But anyway, like I was saying though, you know what I'm saying? We about to really, you know, Natchez, Natchez is, is really about to take this thing for, for a nice little roller coaster ride, you know what I'm saying? I got an album in stores very, very soon entitled Out the Woodworks. So, that's your boy, Fatigue, man. F-A-T-I-G-U-E. Faith and trust in God ultimately exists. I got a ready crew, real educated and determined young niggas, or real eager to determine young niggas. That's how we do it, man. And Natchez, for real. Just a couple more, man. You know, a lot of, a lot more hospitals that you can get get with right down here in Natchez, man. Down here, man. That's what we doing. Just advertising, networking, trying to put them all on the map, man. Y'all might think like you know it's one big group, man. These whole these two different groups, cliques, all that crew, man. But we link up with it when it's down for the cause, man. You know what I'm saying? Got five fiends for the money, nigga. Man, Mississippi, Natchez is one of the spots. You probably don't get a chance to see, you know what I'm saying? But this like between the toes and holes and cracks and crevices where you're going to find some real shit. I ain't but one speaking cat, you know what I'm saying? You know, F5. What? You know what I'm saying? Live in this motherfucker. These cats haven't had the opportunity to be seen, to right, be heard, exactly. yeah. and we try. You know, that's, that was my focus of beginning, of, even starting a label down here, man. Trying to get these cats some exposure, and plus trying to make some money at the same time. But we, we more talented in Mississippi and down south than anywhere else in the country. Yeah. And, you know, and that's just, I ain't just saying it from my point of view. We produce stars, we produce athletes. But we don't have nobody representing us but one one major artist re representing us on the on the rap scene. That's David Banner. Right. We're more talented than that. And we're just trying to let the world know what's going on. That's why I say I got two choices. Either I can go out there and fuck up, or either I can change and go somewhere else and make something happen yeah. where I can help my, my niggas out, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, so go on here and do what I can do, try to bring the hood, you know, bring the hood out there and expose them. So, so I mean, that's my way. I feel that's my way of getting back to where I come from, you know what I'm saying? Man, guess expose what? some niggas out there that really can get down. It's niggas like you that make niggas like us possible. Because all those guys, Puffy, Biggie, Pop, they wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for a nigga like you with the camera, with the conversation, to make this shit even happen. You speaking for niggas, niggas like us, Un right. the behind the scenes niggas, the right, niggas right. keeping it real on these streets. You speaking for us, dog. Everybody don't know who we is. They don't know us. But guess what? They, they, go, they, go they will. They, they when you they look will. at the ghetto studio, you say, well, them guys hungry and them motherfuckers, which we are. Hungry as hell. Everybody out here eating and living good. We keeping it gutter like this because this this is the roots. Right, this is exactly. the basis of what the fuck is going on. If you can't come from the basis, you ain't shit, man. Right. You jump up and want to drive beans. You want to drive beans, you want to drive hummers and shit. You got to ride bucket first. No motherfucker came in here with no million dollars, dog. Tell the end. 
I'm gonna keep it gutter and keep it ghetto. And like, it, like you was told, man, it's 90 percent being and 10 percent talent, man. You gotta have a beard in mind. You be talented, motherfucker. I run across people every day. I listen to shit on the radio. I be like, damn, I see a nigga around here, shit way tighter than that. Yeah. But it's about being it though. You know what I'm saying? So. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna grind with it though, man. We gonna make it happen for real. These hey, boys got their album dropped too, yo. Yo, making an honest living wasn't an option I was given. Shit, I was a victim of being in stress living. My limits was easily bent from the shape that I was in. And the only way to escape was by blowing dope in the wind. My heart aches and bad breaks. Let me to a life of crime and bad mistakes to the point that I could barely operate. Shit, I was blowing so much, man, I barely graduated. My family and folks was just happy that I made it. I'm on the road to riches doing shows for that paper, but really, I'm in need of glory and a savior. That's all I'm giving you right now, though, my nigga. Man, Don't get the album, album, dog. Nigga, I'm tell you, dog. Spit a record for Bravo Entertainment yeah. taking over, nigga. You fuck with the Dons in Mississippi, nigga. Hold on, man. You fuck with the Dons in Mississippi. Yo, hog. She ain't calling me. <laughs> you got my boy, Yo, hog, at work, man. He, he been working hard at the 9 to 5, you know what I'm saying? Where you, where you working at? Where you working now? Zip number five. Right <laughs> <laughs> in our neighborhood doing something party. Got a nine to five, man. Oh, Zip it number five right here. We got my boy Young Hogs. Hey, I'm gonna do pumping, man. Ten. 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 I'm at the corner store called Zippy's in Natchez, Mississippi. This is a neighborhood store, and uh, really, truly, it's basically like home to all of us. It's been here, I don't know how many years, but it's been here a long time, and we are representing. How much is this? Here you get out my store, man. Six cents, man. Good Lord, six cents. Man, get the hell out of my store. Can I get some for one cent? Well, how much is this? Hey, stop playing. Hey, I need to give me six cents. Oh. My brother, Kenyatta, that you're a minor, he working at night. We trying to give him an easy time. We don't need no money. man, you here, man? How you figure I want everybody to know my name? His name is, uh, Yippy. What's his phone name? Zippy. <laughs> Can I get my change? No, you don't get, man, get out of my store, please. Get out, get, get out of my carriers, man, you're in the way. I give you a quarter, man. Man, get out of my store, please, before I call the police. Yeah, but you better, because I need my, look, I gave you a quarter for six cents for my man, money. Man, don't, hey, my dog on the plane. <laughs> hey, come on, man. What was my fucking? Man, get out of my store with the plane, man. My change. Shit. You don't get no change. I give you a quarter. Man, that's for my problem. I told you extra for this. <laughs> oh, we can go out and speak, hey. man. Hey, um. Y'all leave, leave because of me. He put me out every time I come up here. <laughs> they probably cooking, um. You going to be at work, though. They probably cooking goat, man. What? Over the Scottish end. We finna go over there. Who the fuck cooking goat this time? The boy Gamo. Young boy Gamo. Out of here, the boy. killed two hours out that day, man. Okay. Hey, I'm going to talk to the man. Hey, yeah. They here, man. The legend there. The legend there. What's up? It's too late. You put it in there. Don't mean you still can. I was trying to steal. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was paying for me to get my change, man. Oh, he's, he stole it in. Thank you. Okay. And he got him on okay. camera. No, no, you, you need to call the police. You need to call the police. No one of y'all extra money left over there in the morning. you need to call the police. That's the proper way to do things. Call the police. Call police on me. God damn, look, somebody, somebody right. Nigga steal your money. He still call the police on you. That ain't right, bro. No, I tell them nigga, that ain't right. Ain't no goddamn way you gonna call the police on me and you steal from me. I'm trying to tell you, man. Yeah, this now, this outside Mississippi, all the way Nashville, baby. I'm saying this some of that hard head killed. Remember they had them two hours the other day? This, hey, this some of that hog on back of that truck they had killed today, man. <laughs> Right. Right out of seven. That's your good as a mother. It's a wild hog, you know what I'm talking about? Wild hog. Zoomed in the mall. Y'all realize how we do it down here? This shit's so good, man. Get your piece of the wild hog, man. Like room service gonna hate y'all niggas. This is what a hog Got that wild hog up there, man. You gotta clean that wild hog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they say it don't get no countries in this, cuz. 
home, man. Brand new ship. <laughs> in, in a brand, brand new state. We in a brand new flip. A brand new chick sitting on ostrich seat. Same old flow over brand new beats. Same old haters talking this and that. I ain't gonna bark at your dog. Feel a bite from the get. Brand new belt and hat. Fresh braids and trump. You probably saying to yourself, I wanna be like him. Be more like the winter boys sitting over there pouring champagne on the floor like they don't care. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I wish it's going down. down. Mississippi. Man, I'm telling you, man, this shit ain't nothing to play with. This nigga. Man, it ain't nothing to play with, man. It ain't nothing to play with, man. You know what, man? If I don't make a dime, dog, in my life. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me catch that pound. Let me tell you something, man. Get in, bitch. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, my nigga. I'm going to tell you something right here. If I don't make a dime in my life, it do me all the world of good to show I did something for my peace. You know what I'm saying? Man, naturally, That's what it's man. all about to me, the heart. I get far, I got so many phone calls today, nigga. My phone battery finna go out. Cause niggas calling me, telling me how much love they got for the shit that I'm doing. And that's, 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 that's worth more than money to me. that scene right there. That worth way more than money, on pause. You know what I'm saying? All the other shit ain't about shit. If a nigga ain't got love for his hood, his hometown, he ain't got love for the game. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I can't fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I want to work with everybody, dog, but I can't fuck around nobody if I ain't doing nothing. If I ain't feeding my people back home. Huh? You, you, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck I look like? You starve. You over here beside me starve, but I'm feeding this nigga down the street. You know what I'm saying? You can't feed nigga in that line, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ink on the scene. Tell the niggas bring the fun. Now, all my girls, if you got it, where you at? Where you at? And if you got a nigga, tell him, give me that. Give me that. We put in Natchez, Mississippi on the map. What it do? Why you motherfuckers acting brand new? Brand new, huh? So why you acting brand new? You should know what it is. Can't you see what it do? Look at them, look at us. They don't move how we move. Do yourself a fucking favor. Let the boy win the through. Yeah. Nah, down here made the season, this bitch, you know what I'm talking about? It's your boy, Mick Money, nigga, still hosting this shit down, down south. We finna go up and see, we got a couple of technicalities and shit, but everything gonna be all good, my nigga, you know what I'm talking about? We up in this bitch, we got fly chicks out here everywhere, nigga. You see how Natchez do this shit, nigga? It's the country, nigga, and we do this shit like this. I got my boy Clay in this motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? We got bad ass shit going on, man. Look, y'all just wait, nigga, wait till we get in this bitch, nigga. Nigga got performances and shit coming up. It's gonna be all good. Man, fuck it, nigga. Yeah. Like, fuck all that bullshit. These haters don't want let us in the door. The haters don't want let us in the door. As usual. You know. what? Demonstration of what's, what's about to come in the future. Y'all be ready. Keep your ears and eyes open for the outfit. Hustle World, Mississippi Natchez, putting it on the map, man. Doing the big. Hell yeah. I told her I wasn't gonna run for you, baby. I told her I wasn't gonna run for my, this my people, man. This my cousin, you hear me? So, you know what I'm saying? She down here, we kicking it, man. Zipping number five, baby. She's that yeah, co worker, you know what I'm saying? She doing a big down here, yeah, for sure, you know what I'm saying? Man, everything is everything out here. I'm calling the motherfucker, though. You need to get up on these goddamn garlic. Get them garlic socks. You know what I'm saying? Then what we do out the club, we come out here. Get up the meal, you know what I'm saying? My boy on the godly side, you know what I'm saying? Doing the big like that, though. 
Yeah, yeah. what's up, man? Share your ride. Share your ride. Share your ride. I listen to all type of music and it's fascinating because I listen to country western, I listen to some rap, I listen to some jazz, I listen to a variety of music and then the thing that I find is so important in there is everybody have a story to tell because it's basically as a something they have experienced with somebody or situation that they are going through and it's all about telling and and, and most of the, the the music I've listened to they all telling a story about who they are what they went through uh, and how they feel about it you know and 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 some situation that they have taken those things that was negative and use it as fuel for them and turn it into positive. So they are sharing those experiences with the world. We have to have that same type of mentality so we have to rise above whatever we've gone through, rise above whatever is holding us back and still succeed. And so I applaud uh, all the different songs and the people that have gone through their situation are able to talk about it, sing about it, and then make financial gain from it. But you ought to listen to their story. The music is great, but their story says so much more than the music. The stories say, I've been through a struggle, and I've had hard times, and I went without. But they are basically saying, look at me now. So this here, to me, if I don't get paid one red cent off of this, I know it's love for me out there, you know, from Natchez, because of what I suppose, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it's all about. And that's from the heart, you know what I'm saying? That's real. Ain't nothing but love for my hometown. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Dang soul, shot clothes, hot blows, got those, tell blood, I chose. Next time you sip it, nigga, we down south. Dang soul, shot clothes, hot blows, got those, tell blood, I chose. Next time you sip it, nigga, we down south. Yeah, I choked them 
boys, they get a rambunctious Different styles with similar functions How could you say that we wouldn't click up? How could you make these false assumptions? We taking this game by storm We twist these bitches like Ferris wheels Bulletproof waves, we slide from the trace And own that chrome, it's one of the hills Kill a name, don't wear it out I got police looking for my whereabouts I took a jump line, what I care about We all kings in the bitch, we gon' share the sound So, hear me out while I pause in the world With this here, Billy Funk Put gold in your dick when you wanna get crumb With a natural mystery, that's where we from I'm a Teflon, I joke a pistol pack a nigga weed smoker hooked up with the meal billy i know the motherfucking game is over always tipsy never sober got more hands in the game of both the hardest forces to join together for the fucking takeover is real so shot clothes hot flows got those teflon i chose next to me sip nigga we down south ain't so shot clothes hot flows got those teflon i chose next to me sip nigga we down south I got my G-Face on and my blood in my mouth. My screen door open and my gun on my couch. And Vision Beast in the yard, standing guard in the house. A few prods in the block that I bounce and I ounce. A few cars in the yard that I crank right now. Two of them bitches is ready for the mission and one of them bitches need more than mouth. Old okay, cat that do nothing but smoke and count. Dragon potters at the stove, body looking out. I club the rain, we bought the women out. Now we gon' show you motherfucker what I pimp about. Tell blood not choke, no one fresh about. Put us in the pipeline, we gon' flush it south. And all you major ass niggas need to hush your mouth. Cause even Roy Jones Jr. got a bad knocked out. This kid told me when I choke, we drank, we smoke. Some of these niggas be hating though. But like a fine ass bitch getting fucked for show. Fuck this, fuck me, then nigga, fuck you. If it ain't Jay, then Teflon poop. Toss it out, I'll be the first to shoot. Nigga, hate no more picks, so you slow down. I got one life to live, one ride to spin, one chance in this little world of blow. I rep for the NTZ, and I take that 601 everywhere I go. Yeah, I like the drove, not hit the kill. Throw smoke in your face, fuck how you feel. I might cut those when the tip is real. I'ma take it, keep it simple, keep it real. Gonna stack a meal, but don't pay the street. If you play that game, better play for keeps. Knock this roll in 10 and G. Cause we all got heat on the level C. You just tell your beat, it's and let it. They young, they dumb, them boys ain't ready. We drive steps and we roll legs. You want a platinum grill, we want platinum black. Game sold, shot clothes, hot flows, got those. Tip blood, I chose. Next to the sipper, nigga, we down south. Game sold, shot clothes, hot flows, got those. Tip blood, I chose. Next to the sipper, nigga, we down south. But the young maintain, gotta say a little something. Might have hate us in some me and kick dope blaze one ball, make a beat, and we'll let a little something. Give you some boys, but it's you don't really want it. Two different styles, three stars like I'm coming. Pockets stay lumping while they go instead of bumping. Stay real and beef, you can call the squad and do it for me. We don't really settle real, y'all niggas is fronting. Spit out how we live, y'all niggas is bluffing. Holla at Dip Jam, he'll tell the truth. We the Jay Z's, y'all the joke, but fuck all of their friend in discussion. You maintain the mic and I hustle, no lights, cameras, action. This just close, curtain, roll credits. Look, kill it. Uh. I know it's a lot of y'all niggas out there that were thinking that this shit wouldn't happen. Tell blood, not choke on the track. Put it down for me and sip it, represent matches. Still walk in the club, still fuck with the thugs. Still giving niggas shit that can't handle. And the niggas still hang cause they wanna take a place, but they just say the phone no standards. Y'all, y'all, niggas, niggas, don't want none. And the gang still rank number one. Still serving them seeds, but done so. Get rid, get rid, it's on, it's on. Get wild, get wild, get crumb, get crumb. I told, I told, the blood, the blood. Game over, game over, we won. Game sold, shot closed, hot blows, got those. Tip blood, 